Alright, so we're about to pull the old hood off. Uh, Arthur with the cappuccino is headed over here. I'm just going to take off the windshield washer, nozzles, and uh, some of the air guides and stuff like that. Show you guys what I'm talking about. That air guide for the duct, the catch right here, uh, that seal that goes all the way across the front, and then just pull off the um, windshield washer fluid nozzles, the sprayer nozzles, and then the, uh, the hood dampers because we're not going to use those anymore. So we'll get started on that until Arthur gets here and then we'll try to pull this thing off. This is Arthur, the capo man. What's going what's up, on? What's up? We just literally just need to undo the hood dampers and then undo the bolts and lift it off. Not so, drop not drop it. And then we'll put it over there, face down on the blanket. Or, yeah. Ugly side down. But, yeah. Well, it was way shorter than I, than I anticipated. Uh, only broke one clip. Oh, not too bad. <laughs> only one. So. That little Y splitter for the uh, for the uh, windshield washer sprayers. Yeah, it had like a clip built into it, and the clip was. Oh, there. there's no way that was gonna come no, out without breaking. No. And so it's like it fell in. Like the clip part is in there somewhere, so it's gonna slide out. in like a half circle pattern and then the, the titanium piping pokes out so you so it peeks out from the little vent so it look I think it's gonna look cool I think it'll look pretty next stop deft motion I guess and then we put the hood on and chop it up so it's 9 10 Sunday morning had to reschedule the hood install because the weather sucked but it's like 39 degrees and no moisture on the ground and definitely no snow so we're headed to the wonderful wizard of deft motion to finally grab the marsh composite hood and uh, my body guy uh, Ryan Lacey who's done a lot of the, the painting on the Voltex stuff on this car uh, he's gonna be there 
just to help me fit the hood and <clears throat> get all the gaps right and uh, make it level to the fenders and adjust things if needed and to help trim the the ducts. It's about an hour away. We're headed out now. See you in a little bit. So we're at Death Motion right now. These guys working on the hood. Body shop guy. What's up, Ryan? What's happening? And there's Drew Turner, the what owner up? of Death Motion and Binge Tokyo. And there's the hood. It's super duper light and it's it amazing. Dude. So we'll make you wait. Yeah, Simon actually one of the hoods to like. This is just packaging. They put uh, into, like, wood down. They hit back. On the yeah, attachment like, points where the hinges would be. I just have to put an arrow catch them. Yeah, yeah, I'm not playing the way. So, yeah, car's ready to go. This wood. Let's put it on there. Start Eight. cutting it up. Eight, Eight pounds? Yeah. Eight pounds, my guess. Eight to ten. Wow, no, you can't have a oh, range. <laughs> the range is cheating because it's okay. either eight, nine, or ten. Like okay. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Eight. I'm going okay. to go with eight. Eight point Five. We won't know the point. Oh, it's, okay. it's, we'll it's just pounds. round it up. I'm thinking it'll round itself up to nine. Yeah. All right, we'll see. I go ten pounds on it. Ten. Okay, we got eight, nine, and ten. Yeah. <laughs> I like how my range was eight to ten. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I got it. I won. It's one of them. Yeah. That's no fun. How much we got on there? All right. So we're at an undetermined number currently, but we'll do the math for you. Okay. okay. Alright, now. It says 240 now. 10 to 11. So it's bouncing around between. Yeah, so 10 to 11 pounds. 10 to 11 pounds, I won, boys. Yeah, it's probably, probably 10 and a half pounds. So that is. It doesn't. It doesn't at all. I That's, think it's because it's so large. It just yeah. feels super light because it's that large. 15 pounds less than the stock SDI hood with the scoop. Just, just hold what you got. Let me do me. Right. Let me do me, and I'll come do you. Alright, that sounds a little Ooh. weird. Hey, you are good. That's why you invited me. It's your control. Alright, all right, you let me have yeah. it. How wide over there? Uh, three mil. Just want to come out. Dang, boy, it looks like a spoon. STI. Some quick footy, real quick. Oh yeah. All done. Installed. Ryan's the man. Drew's the man for letting me use the shop. Car was good. Don't be enthusiastic about it. Yeah, I'm super excited about this. If you can't I'm tell. Super excited. <laughs> I don't know how the camera's gonna pick this up, but in the daylight, it's gonna look amazing. Yeah, I got the uh, windshield washer squirters on there. Everything. Everything fits. And surprisingly, we did not have to cut this duct to fit the ETS intercooler piping. So everything's good. See some pictures Ooh. outside in a second. So yeah, we made it back home. Uh, it was so much better than stock with a front mount and nothing there because it's you know missing a top mount in the scoop. So there's no more vibration or anything like that. The hood's super rigid. 
And I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown before we close this video off. Literally, two bolts on that side for the hinge, two bolts on the other side for the hinge. All the holes up here for this seal were already drilled. Marsh Composites did an amazing job on this hood. The, uh, the latch holes were drilled and there's um, inserts in there, threaded inserts that fit the stock bolts. Everything's there. And this is crazy. So, as you know, the, the windshield wiper, windshield washer nozzle holes are there, pre-drilled also. But even the, uh, the clip holes for the hose, it's all there. Marsh Composites, man, shout out to you. Shout out to Def Motion for letting me use their shop. Shout out to Ryan Lacey at Colorcraft. Uh, he's painted this front end several times from various damages I've gotten. Yeah, Drew Turner, Def Motion. You guys are awesome. That's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it.